Hey, what's going on, everyone? So in today's video, as you all know, Maroc is a great figure. It is one of my favorites, actually, you know, because of the sculpt and articulation. It's an excellent figure, but the paint is not quite right. So in this video, I thought I would just hit him with a dark wash and just see if that helps. And I just you know, make my own with this right here, Ceram Coat Black. It's a dollar and change at Hobby Lobby. Super inexpensive and just kind of mix it with water. I have a number five brush here and I'm just going to coat it on and I'm hoping it'll tone down the orange and hopefully bring out the detail in his visor. Hopefully, because I mean, it's a, it's an excellent sculpt. It's a great figure. It's just, I don't think anyone's really happy with the, the colors. So I'm going to hit this guy with a dark wash. I'm just going to, I'm just going to coat it. Okay. So I have hit my rock several times with this homemade dark wash you know just getting it in there getting in the crevices getting it on the orange and just lightly blotting it off and then i'm going to let it dry and then i'll probably hit it again but i have i have uh put this stuff on top to bottom multiple times and i think it's already better it's already better it's a little heavy in the visor still, but I think once it dries, it'll be okay. And once it dries, it's not going to look quite as splotchy. And again, I'm kind of blotting it as I go, but I can tell it's already better. All right. I think I'm finished. I think I have coated him pretty well. It's a whole lot better than it was. So I'm going to let him dry. Yeah, I did the back and I really hit the pants and the sleeves trying to get rid of all this wacky orange. I mean, yes, in some shots you could see it on his arms, but it just wasn't that heavy. So I kind of took a lot of that orange away or I tried to, but just the overall, you know, just look, it kind of darkened him up a little bit and I really hit the visor. So we'll see. I'm going to let him dry and then I'm going to take him in the light and let y'all get a good look at him. So here is the finished product, and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this because this is just a simple paint job, but this is how it turned out. And if I put up a side-by-side -side shot of before and after, same light, you can tell that the one on the right is much better. It's darker. The orange is toned down quite a bit. It still retained the red and the white there. Okay, that's not bad. And of course, I wiped it off a lot right there and there, but... Overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Now, starting up here at the head, okay, this big orange blob there, I've seen some videos of people using acetone to get rid of this. Well, I was afraid that I would accidentally take this red off. You know, that red's supposed to be there. So I didn't go that route. It works very well, but I, I don't know. I just didn't want to take a chance. So I just kind of hit this with some of the dark wash just to kind of cover it up. It did okay but this is better. The visor, I think, is much more detailed now. You know, you can see, yeah, all that detail is, is now there. The top of the head looks so much better. This big orange blob there is now covered up. Back of the helmet looks like that. Okay, this orange blob is a little less obnoxious. Uh, his chest, so much better. I love this. I mean, yes, the orange is still there, but it's just toned down so much. This is nice. You know, this, this orange is virtually gone. Uh, the shoulder bells turned out pretty well. So I've also heard of people spraying the, the figure first with a matte coat, you know, like a matte spray, and then doing a wash. I don't own any matte spray, so I didn't do that. But just doing multiple coats kind of gave this sort of a matte finish, but at the same time, it kind of retained that metallic look. I'm pretty pleased. Now, the fact that my homemade wash is relatively thin, it did have a little trouble sticking at first, 
But once you get a coat or two on and kind of spread it out with your thumb or finger, you know, just kind of spread it around, all subsequent coats will stick better. At least that's what I've found. I'm happy. I'm happy. Now, all this right there, that is the actual sculpt. Sculpt. That is not, you know, gooped up dark wash. That is the actual sculpt. Okay. Same within here. The van braces are much better in that dark wash kind of brought out these lines a little better. The hands aren't quite as orange. Yeah, these lines just show up. And as far as the undersuit, I did hit the undersuit quite a bit to get rid of all those little orange speckles. Okay, they're still there, but they're barely there. Same with the back of the legs. Okay, all, all this was just covered in orange. That's virtually gone. You know, there's just a smidge there and then back there. This pretty much refused to go away, you know, but that's okay. But this is better. His back looks better. Yeah, it kind of bunched up right there, but that's no big deal. That is no big deal. Looks like, you know, it's just like weathering. Uh, as far as the legs, you know, these butt down here, the knee guards and these shins down here, so much better. And I left it kind of gooped up on the feet, okay, because yeah, feet get dirty. So I left that. And then I even threw some in here. You know, in the saber to make it look a little funky. So that is the finished product. I am happy. And I actually tried dyeing this cape, okay, because I was dyeing Boba Fett from Tython's uh, cloak, you know, because it's brown, you know, trying to make it black. This was a little brown. I tried to make this black. It's better than it was. Uh, so is Boba's cloak. It's a little darker. It didn't quite take. I kind of fudged the recipe a little bit. Uh, but this is darker, okay. I'm happy with that. So as far as the wash, it's just this Delta Creative Ceram Coat Black. Get this dollar and change at Hobby Lobby. And I just use, you know, just a few large dollops of paint and water. And I kind of have, yes, this is a specimen cup. Yes, I work in a hospital. Uh, that <laughs> That is the consistency. Okay, kind of like, you know, it's pretty watery. Okay, but that is the consistency that I use. And... Um, yeah, so that's that. But this stuff works well. It's cheap paint, but it works well. You know, some of the uh, Vallejo washes are about eight bucks for for this size. I'm sure they go on better. They probably coat better. They probably stick better. But for me, it's fine. It's fine. I think this turned out pretty well. I just wanted to share. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. I just wanted to show you guys the finished product. This was an easy fix. I mean, yes, it took a couple of hours total, you know, putting on a coat, letting it dry, putting on another coat, letting it dry. You know, fortunately, it does dry pretty quick. But man, it just looks so much better. All the detail just pops. And it just made a great figure even better. Okay, because this is an awesome figure. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention in my review, these shoulders are on a ball pretty sweet. I mean, yes, there is a hinge there, you know, for it to go out, but the actual shoulder joint is on a ball, you know, deep in there. You've got motion up and down. That, that's just awesome right there. And of course, the hands are on a ball. Great figure, great articulation, awesome sculpt. It just needed some work as far as the paint. And I am very happy with how this turned out. So I'm just going to end it here. I don't want to go on and on about this, but I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and just let me know what you think of this. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series or customizing or DIYs or painting, that sort of thing, smack like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget to turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.